Welcome to the tutorial series for Phoenix Pulse Hands-On Extraction of N-IKS. Phoenix is meant to make the extraction of refractive index and absorption coefficient from terahertz time domain spectra easy and convenient to use. This video is meant for people who have not so much programming experience and don't know how to start the software. Phoenix is written in the programming language Python and should run on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It does not have a graphical user interface, so you cannot just click on a desktop icon. In the next minutes, I will show how to install Anaconda, which is a software distribution which bundles Python with many useful libraries for research and visualization. For this tutorial, I start with a complete clean Windows 10 machine, so that you can follow each step along. After downloading and installing Anaconda, we download Phoenix and have everything ready for the next video where I show how to run the first example. But let's start. Start an internet browser of your choice and enter in the search machine the word Anaconda. Already the first result should link to anaconda.com. Alternatively, the link is also given in the video description. Here you can see anaconda.com, the world's most popular data science platform. We click on download and let the browser download the installer. You maybe have to click on keep to confirm the download. Afterwards wait until the download is finished. The download is finished and we can click on open file. Alternatively, we can also open the folder location, most probably the folder download and start the installer with a double click. We click on next. I agree. Next. We don't change any of the standard settings and click on install. This installation, depending on your PC, can easily take 5 minutes. You can also click on show details to see all the packages and libraries which are installed by Anaconda. We click on next. Next. We don't need these options at the moment and click on finish. After installing Anaconda, open your internet browser and enter https colon slash slash github.com slash Tim Fogg slash Phoenix with a K. You can find also the link in the video description below. After opening the website, we can go to code and click on download zip. Afterwards, we can open the download location, make a right mouse click on the zip archive and click on extract all. Extract and let Windows unpack the archive. We should now have a simple folder called Phoenix Main. We can close the internet browser in the background, we don't need that anymore. We can now go to the Windows menu and here we see Jupyter Notebook. We start it and it will automatically open an internet browser which makes it possible to read and execute Jupyter Notebooks. Similar to the Windows Explorer, we see the folders on our PC. We can go to Download, Phoenix Main, Phoenix Main, and under Phoenix are all the Python scripts, and under Examples, we have our examples. In the next video, I will show the first example called Basic Extraction. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped to install the software. And I will see you in the next video.